you were <coughs> well you played hockey and sports and football at uh, right through high school and at University of Toronto um, got involved uh, with that um, being you know you, you take it to a certain level uh, being a dentist you're always worried about your hands something happening things like that but we still uh, played um, I got involved in the sport because I loved the game and to follow it and later on I uh, ended up uh, I was a dentist uh, got into dentistry and a sports dentistry um, to, to help some of these guys that are professionals and protect their teeth and ended up uh, luckily through a, a good friend a contact ended up with uh, Team Canada the first uh, Canadian team that went in 1972 to play the Russians. So I was in Moscow for the for the games for the four the games, game. and uh, that was the game. And uh, so that was that's a good memory. And then after that, I uh, ended up being with uh, Dennis for Team Canada. I think it was 15 or 16 years in uh, World Championships and with Canada Cups uh, in North America. So you ended up going, you got to know cities well because you would go for two, three weeks. Um, so you got to know uh, Tampa Bay, Stockholm, Vienna, Praha, St. Petersburg, Moscow, uh, Malmo, Oslo, uh, different kind of things. You'd end up one or two exhibition games and you'd go there like literally for three weeks. I was fortunate enough, my wife, uh, uh, Kvitka said, uh, well, you have a good opportunity to go. And you got to know cities really well. I took uh, interest in it, so you got to know it. And then with the other doctors, you had to be at practices and at the, at the games, obviously, and that. And in between, you'd have a half day off or a day off, things like that. You just walked the streets and got to know it. Uh, God was always interested in art, so he ended up going to antique shops, antiquarian shops, uh, looking for antique maps of Ukraine and artwork. Um, I was always interested in art, so I remember in St. Petersburg, Fedosi Humanyuk, which is an artist we'd heard about, and uh, looked him up, and we met him in a couple of nights, uh, spent some time with him and things like that, and uh, it was an interesting thing. I was trying to get some art out, and it literally, a lot of the times when we were away for the World Championships, it would be an, on a the Easter, our Easter would, would come up during that time. And uh, I'd met also before that um, Makarenko, who was also an artist, but he was in Riga at the time. He had gotten out somehow and uh, he had gone to Paris. He had an exhibit there. So Fedozi Homanyu, uh, we met in an apartment. We're looking at different art, things like that. And uh, I says, Muta, you know, can I take, get some stuff out for you? We'll have an exhibit for you. I know people would be interested in it. All of a sudden, there's a knock at the door, and we were scared. You didn't know what was happening. Uh, the door opened, and if all people, it was mechanical, happened to be there. We came in there, and he says, well, to the leg. So we had some eggs, Easter eggs, you know, color. they weren't like piston kid, but smashed eggs, a couple of, uh, of uh, shots of vodka and things of like that. And the guy just, and McConnell says, Fedorzy, I had an opportunity to smuggle some art out. You got to take it. So we ended up after about an hour of talking and imbibing, uh, taking them out of the frames. And then I got out 11 oils, rolled up and smuggled them back to the, to the hotel. To this day, I don't know if someone followed me or what, but they came in, they were looking, but we moved the art around and then to the dressing room, put hockey sticks in between here, rolled it, and put some goalie pads on both sides of it, and it came out in the hockey bag. Got it back to Canada about a year later, uh, had them framed, and I had a very big exhibit for him, and it was a very successful uh, exhibit for Fedozi Humanyuk, and years later, uh, met him back in a view, which he had gone back, met him and his wife, kept in touch, but met them and passed on the... Uh, results of that showing for him. Hmm. Amazing story. Yeah.